everyone and welcome to my channel this is Leslie and today I am sharing a layout with you that I made with my brand new ultra new rose flurry 3d dies and um, I was very excited about this I don't do die cuts I do um, silhouette uh, machine cutting so this was something uh, brand new for me. I do like to emboss, um, so I've only always used my um, cuddle bug for embossing. But uh, now I'm venturing out into the die cutting world and I love it. So <laughs> I hope that um, I will be making more die cutting um, videos sooner rather than later. However, this is the only set of die cuts that I have now. <laughs> so, but... Um, yeah, so here you'll see I've um, started die cutting the leaves and I thought uh, that would be the easiest uh, one to start with so that I can just get into the hang of it. And um, uh, I do get cleverer as I get more used to, to this. Um, to start off with, I decided just to stick to the colors that's on the Ulta New um, little packaging sheet. The pinks and the purples for the flowers and then the basic greens and darker greens for the um, for the leaves and I do venture into other colors as the video progresses and um, as you can see here I uh, put multiple dyes between my um, my blocks so um, uh, right at the end um, it, it's not in the video I edited it out but um, I actually have three different flowers with all four of each flower's dies on the block so <laughs> there's 12 dies um, on the block and um, they cut beautifully all 12 of them together in between the blocks so um, at the beginning it did take a lot of time and um, this layout took me two days to do because I wanted to get all the dyes perfectly done and because this is the first time I've done dyes like this um uh you know I had to find my groove I had to find my my mojo with with the, <laughs> with this so um yeah so here I'm just busy with the pink um and there I'm going into yellow so you'll see at the end um that my the lightest color that I used for my pink there and the purple I did change to a lighter color I just stuck it on top and um, I recut the dye and I just stuck it on top of the of the other purple. So you'll see I made a yellow flower, um, an orangey hue flower, the pink and then the purple. I didn't use all the different flower dyes in the pack. Um, I used three different um, and I think there's four. And I, uh, there's a little or five. I, there's a little flower that I just didn't use. I, I didn't feel like it. So I knew that I wanted to create a frame with the, um, with the flowers um, around my border and I needed some interest um, on, the white, uh, on the white cardstock. So I just, on the background, I used some of Heidi Swap Color Shine. The citron is the green and the butter is the yellow. I just did some random splatters um, just to give some extra interest and um, texture to that background. I'm sure, I, I wasn't sure what photo I was going to use or what I was going to do in on the inside of the frame, but um, yeah, there I'm just adding some more yellow. I felt that it needed a bit more yellow. But um, yeah, so here I'm going to start sticking them down. I'm not going to make you watch this as well. This is, it, it takes a while, so uh, my video would be, would, would, would be too long. <laughs> so there you go, I've stuck everything down now. And um, this next part is, um, was a disaster and you'll see um, it, it, the disaster will ensue in a couple of seconds my little nouveau thing was clogged and there you go boom <laughs> I was in shock <laughs> I just started laughing I, I could not believe what just happened it sprayed all over my face my neck it on my arms, underneath my arms, my favorite shirt is covered in it. The curtains next to my table is covered in it. And there Emma comes. She heard my gasps and she came into the room and she saw I was covered in purple. <laughs> she was laughing at me. And yes, that is my head bobbing because I was laughing. I, I, I just, it's, you know, that laughter where you, just, you cannot believe what just happened. So yes, so the disaster doesn't stop there. I tried to put it back in the bottle, but that didn't work. So big cleanup operation um there is some still left in the bottle um 
So I just used that in the end. And that purple was called um, Violet Galaxy. The green is called Green Apple that I'm using. And the pink is called Carnation Pink. And those are all Nouveau, Nouveau Crystal Drops. So um, just a word of caution. If it is clogged, your little nozzle, do not press on it. Because the little... Um, uh, the nozzle will pop out and you will spray an entire bottle of Nouveau drops all over yourself. I mean, my shirt is ruined, so <laughs> when my husband came home, I still had purple on my face. So <laughs> it was quite funny. So they did some of it did get on the layout, obviously, and little streaks and splatters of it, uh, which I don't mind. But there were two of the um, flowers, two of the pink flowers that did suffer. Oh, look, there's even on my block. There's some purple on my 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 um, die cut block. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to uh, get those flowers fixed. So I just cut the um, the lighter color, um, the last bits of the die of each of those flowers, the top la layer, again, and I'm just going to stick that on to that la to that flower. And you'll see you. I mean, you don't even see that in the end. And I do cover the big purple splatter and all the little splatters on the white paper I do go in with some white acrylic and um, cover it up as best as I can and you don't even see it in the end um, right at the end when all the acrylic is dried and um, uh, where it's all covered up I do add some more Nouveau uh, drops over the white bits that I had to cover up and um, you don't see it at all so <laughs> disaster <laughs> management I have to say that when it happened the first thing I looked at was the layout because I I had it had taken me two days to create this and when that happened my first thought was oh no it's ruined the whole layout is ruined it sprayed all over the layout and it didn't it missed the layout and it hit me and the curtain next to me <laughs> anyway that's a photo of me and my husband when we were still young <laughs> where we were youngins <laughs> so uh, we're sitting on a park bench just underneath a tree and uh, my brother-in-law took the photo of us and it's quite a special moment uh, I wanted to use some uh, tissue paper at the back to give it a softness and um, I sort of made like a little pillow of the tissue paper with the tissue paper and um I like the way it looked, but something wasn't gelling for me. I am going to stick it down. Um, however, I do rip it up. Uh, you don't see it. Um, there's no um, a big uh, um, remnants of the, uh, the bits that I ripped up in the end. So there you go. See, I've ripped it up there. And then I thought I wanted to stamp behind my photo and sort of have it peek out behind the photo. And I have a load of these beautiful Felicity Jane stamps. So I decided I'm going to go through all of my stamp sets and um, I'm going to see uh, what phrases they have that pertain to me and my husband. And on each frame ugh, stamp set, there was something that... Um, that that I could relate to, um, you know, w with me and my husband and our marriage and, and what happened on that day um, in the photo. So um, I'm going to fast forward this. Uh, this took a while. So again, my video will be very long if, if we leave it in here. But I'll just quickly tell you the stamp sets that I used. It was the Henley stamp set, Alexis, Autumn, Charlotte, Reagan, Heidi, Brie, and Brooke stamp sets. So um, all of those phrases can be found on those stamp sets. I will link it in the um, description below so that if you have the those stamp sets, you can just go over and, 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 and see and use them on a layout for yourself as well. And um, I've done this before on a layout um, last year sometime, 2017, and I really liked the way it looked. So I thought... Um, this would be this would be quite nice. Um, this is a very busy layout um, with all the stamping that goes around that goes on behind the photo, and um, the flowers um, framing the the layout. But it works. Um, the the stamping is all in black, and that adds a very nice contrast 
to the um, to the very colorful flowers and everything in this loud is very delicate the the stamps are very small and the some of them are beautiful delicate scripty fonts and the flowers are very delicate and the leaves and sprigs are delicate and my nouveau drops are very tiny and um, fine and so um this is a girly layout but it's i like it um <laughs> So I fast forward it and there you can see all the stamping peeking out from behind um, the photo. And then I realized something that, um, you know something, a little something called the rule of thirds and I needed to apply that to this layout because something was bothering me and, um, oh there I'm just doing the date stamp, um, something was bothering me and I didn't realize what until I realized that it's the frames. So there's the flower frame and there's the stamping frame and there needs to be another frame just to complete that rule of third thing so i'm just going to do a doodly line with my black pen around the edge and that sort of brings it all together it also brings draws out some more of the black in the stamping and um, it balances the black on the inside of the frame now with the black on the outside of the flower frame so um yeah and you can see you can hardly see the the the, the where well, you can see them but they're not as noticeable and overwhelming the the heidi swap color shine splatters that i made they just add a little bit of texture and interest and dimension so and this is this for this layout if you like what you see please like and subscribe and i will definitely see you again soon bye